Hello and welcome to Musings by Amit. If you are new to this channel, then my name is Amit Patel, and you are watching Musings with Software Engineers. Musings with Alex. Is it true that data scientists uh, replace by auto machine learning tool, which is developed by Google? I read articles on one website, data science job less demand in 2028. Okay. People could not even predict that there was going to be a COVID in 2020. Okay. And people are predicting future. So these predictions of future, how true are they? My question is how true are the predictions of future? Okay. If the predictions of future are true, then, um, you know, all those people who wrote that, uh, there will not, so th there will not be any other company like Microsoft. Today we have so many other companies which are ahead of Microsoft, correct? In technology, in, in, in the things that they are doing in the products that they are building. So we cannot say, uh, anything about the future. At least I, I don't go by the future. I don't go by what is going to happen after eight years. See, if by eight years, data scientist will not be required, but your knowledge of data science will be useful in some way or the other. Who knows? It will be useful in building this tool further. Correct? Because to build this tool, auto ML, Somebody has to work on that, right? Somebody has to even work on these tools. There is so many, uh, there, there are so many people talking about no code, okay? Or less code uh, architectures and everything. But who builds those architecture? Who builds those tools? These are core software engineers who are building those tools, correct? So somebody will be required for those tools. So if you're a good data scientist, then you will be working in companies which are building these tools. Maybe you are not doing the analysis. <clears throat> okay. And when we talk about auto ML, uh, see data science has two parts to it. One is the human part of it. Okay. A cleaning of data. No machine can clean up data without human intervention because what data we want to analyze and how how we want this data to be curated will depend on what kind of uh, problem we are trying to solve okay will the machine automatically understand that problem to so some problems they'll be able to understand some problem not so human intervention is not going to go away see artificial intelligence and machine learning dates before computers Okay, artificial intelligence first conference happened in 1957. Artificial intelligence is so old. Then why did artificial intelligence not replace uh, software engineers? Right before even software engineers uh, uh, became popular in the world. Because artificial intelligence even today, even the machine learning, you have to train the machine. Even the robots that you're developing, you have to train the robot uh, systems like Alexa on all, you have to train these systems. These systems are still learning. They are not foolproof. They cannot do everything foolproof. Okay. Till now, it's, it's still a fantasy that machines will take over human capacity. No. Machine is never going to take over human capacity because the power of thinking, the power of emotions, the power of uh, a human, no machine is able to replicate that power. No machine yet is able to replicate that, that power that a human comes with. Okay. We are sitting here while we are sitting here, uh, a lot of functions in our body are automatically happening. All the people who had their dinner, their food is automatically digested. This is a very, very sophisticated machine, which even uh, people who have tried to dissect it have not been able to understand exactly. We are building an artificial model of this human machine trying to say, 
oh this and that's why we call it artificial intelligence we don't call it original intelligence we don't call it human intelligence because human intelligence will be very difficult to replicate by any machine we we will go get very close but not as close we will not get as close we are trying to do that we are trying to do that but that is a very difficult thing to do okay and the cost involved will be very huge which is not see even these all technologies like automation artificial intelligence machine learning data science uh, internet of things all these technologies are costly to implement in the beginning why do you think companies have not been able to imp implement these technologies because they are very costly to implement they are not so easy they are not uh, they are not like uh, they are not so mature that you can just use it and throw it kind of a technology correct they are very costly to implement one implementation goes in crores of rupees so okay large companies who can afford these technologies they are going to use these technologies for whatever they are doing smaller companies medium size companies small uh, size companies are still going to use the the technologies which may date back 10 years back okay has custom software development gone out of fashion no small companies still go to software vendors who can build a small application for them correct that's what freelancers are doing now freelancers are building applications for small companies or or independent vendors so, so because these people cannot afford the big applications or the big infrastructure that people are coming out with correct so this all these things are very important so these predictions don't go by this prediction read that report and try to learn that okay what what if i become the master in this auto ml tool what if i become a, a expert in certain things okay you can look at those articles from that way that okay if by 2028 this tool is going to become important i start investing my time in this tool but for investing time in that tool you will also need to understand data science without the understanding of data science even auto ml tool is not going to help you correct so that is very important so i would suggest that when you read such news about predictions okay i would say that okay fine something is coming and uh, if if you get a chance to prepare prepare for it but if it is never going to happen you just focus on what you are doing at present and try to focus on your current projects that is very important okay go with every day today what i need to achieve that should be your goal if you if you do that you don't worry have to worry about too much about future so everyone thank you very much for attending this live uh, spread the word around for this channel these lives are happening 3 hours long i am trying to bring as much information as possible with every lives and see you on the next live on thursday 9 5 pm thank you very much